Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, I'm going to show you how I grade a whole series of clips together and bring them into the same look. And as you can see, some of these are a mixture of drone shots under various lighting conditions, and we want to have that same punch to it and that same extreme look that we've created. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so what I want to do here is actually uh, grade up these uh, drone shots that we have in this sequence. I primarily approach a drone shot like I would any other shot. No real major difference. Uh, I just want to give it a very striking look to it. Uh, this was shot early morning. It has sort of an orangish sky, but I want to change that a little bit. So what we do here is we have a look at our scopes. And we can see here that our lift area is pretty well balanced already. And I want to take the gain and balance this up first. Okay, so I'm going to take this up and just neutralize that a little bit. Now what this does, this allows me to separate the other colors if I want to. Because as you can see, the green now starts coming out in the grass. So I can bring this up a bit now. Now, I don't want to bring this up too much. If I bring it up too much more than it wants to be, you'll see the structure of the file starts to come out. And this is something that we really don't want to have happen. So now, this is pretty good for my primary correction. I'm just going to go back and balance the lift area a little bit there. Good. And now, what I want to do is uh, let's just play around with the gamma a little bit. Just get a better look for that. And there I've got my initial look for this particular shot done. Let's put it in a loop mode so we can have a look at it. And that's looking pretty good now. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit. I want to separate this grass a little bit. And I want to make the, um, the whole building actually pop out a bit more. So I'm going to add two nodes. First one, I'm going to come down here, use a qualifier, pick up the grass. Now, as you can see, it picked up the grass pretty well. And, but as you can see, the hue qualifier is much too wide. So what we want to do is actually narrow that down quite a bit. It's probably somewhere around there. Center this up a bit. as you can see here it should be somewhere in that area take the low saturation bring this down so this will will narrow down my qualifying area and then we take the luminance bring this up and we take the luminance and we play around with this a little bit Now, if I come out of highlight, you can see these are the areas that I found there. Now, what I can do then is I can use clean black and clean white to sort of work on my isolation a little bit. So, as you can see there, it sort of brought that out like so. Now, that's perfectly fine for what we want. And I don't, didn't want to have an exact isolation for it, just a little nuance. So now what I can do here is actually bring that area up there. And what we will do is use my gamma to make that just a little bit greener in that area. So as you can see, if I count, turn that note off, you can see the green goes down slightly. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put my heavy look in on this shot. So what I'm going to do is come to my third node and let's bring this down. Let's have a real heavy lift compression there. As you can see, I've crushed the lift area. And what I want to do is I want to retain the detail. So I'm going to use LS here under the custom curve area. And this will actually recover the detail in the lift as you can see on the scopes there. You can see I can bring that up or down and bring that in. So now we've got our heavy look in that area now, and that's fine. And then what I want to do is I want to have sort of a 
slightly burgundy tinge to it. Then what I want to do is I want to make the whole building pop out. For that, I'm going to add a fourth node. And then what I do is I come over to my OpenFX plugins and type in contrast. And there, if I just type the CON, you'll see contrast pop. And that's what we want. And then what we can do is we just take this, move it into here like so. Close this now. So now we've got our contrast pop OpenFX plugin added. And then what we can do is then come over here and we can change the amount of that. So as you can see, I can really make the building stand out or just a, just a little bit like this, just to give it a little extra push to it. Then you also have these controls here for detail size, low threshold, high threshold, and softness. So let's just give it a little bit of softening to it just to make it look a little bit more natural for this. And then we can come over here and just have a look all the way through the shot there. And that looks pretty good for us. Okay. Now if we come over to this shot here, what I want to do is... Um, match it to the similar look that we have here. Okay, so what you can do as well is, as you can see, number 21 has the color correction applied, 22 has no color correction. So what we can do here is right mouse click on this clip, and then what we do here is we select here display node graph. This allows me to drag and drop different parameters from the uh, previous correction. So I'm going to say, let's put the basic primary correction in here. Okay, that looks good. I don't have any grass to correct for this, so we can leave that correction out. And let's put the special look that we put on, on it. We can, this is, so now we can add the special look that we used. And then what I want to do is I want to use a little bit of that contrast pop as well. So let's drop that in there as well. And there we have it. So what we can do is then close this and then compare it between the two. So you can see they're almost pretty good. So what you want to do is you want to do a split screen between these two. So what you can do here is even though they're not stored in the gallery, you can just right mouse click on this particular clip and then you can say wipe timeline clip. And now this will allow me to actually see the effect that I've generated there. Now, as I can see here, what I have is good for this shot, but it should be a little bit more burgundy there. So what I'm going to do here is Do something like that. Bring this up a bit. Like that. Okay. Turn that off. So now, as you can see, the cut from here to here works well for us. Okay, and then I can proceed to the next shot. This is another drone shot on the top of the building here. And what I want to do here is give a very stark look, but I want to make that cone, the I want to make the dome really pop out for us. So for that situation, what I'm going to do here is start off with quite a strong correction here, and give just that little slight burgundy correction there. And then if you can see, if you come over here and look at that, it's a pretty good match for that. And then what I want to do next, we add another node and put our contrast pop for this as well. And we just drop that in there and just add that like so.
So now, as you can see, we've got these shots all working together for us. And then we come over to this shot. Now, this shot of the, uh, the wide shot here of the building, as you can see here, it's very um, subdued in this area. We don't have much detail there. So what I'm going to do is try copying the whole correction from number 21 into there. And the secret for that is you just put your cursor on 21, center mouse click, and now it's popped the whole correction in for this shot. So what I want to do here now is come back to my lift area. And then afterwards, we want to take out this node. We don't need this. So we just highlight it, backspace, and it removes it. And then now what we can do here is come back to our last node with the OpenFX plugin. And then we want to add just a little bit of that burgundy color there. If you want to see how it's going to cut, you can see here. And just subdue it. And I'm using the gamma control to actually paint this picture. And then I just use my wipe control as a cut. So this way I can actually see what's going on there. Just bring it up like so. And you just have to adjust it and play around a little bit. Because you see, it's a little bit later in the evening. So you have to take that into consideration. And then we have this one. This is the close-up shot. So let's copy the correction from the previous one in there and see how it works. And it almost does. This one is a little bit cooler, actually. So what we want to do here, if you look down on the scopes, you're looking pretty good, but so you want to actually just warm it up just a little bit. And if you come up to here and select wipe timeline clip, you can now see how it's going to cut. And you can see I just tweaked it a little bit. So this way the dome wasn't quite so cool there. And that works like so. So what we've done here is we've actually balanced these five shots that we have in the uh, particular scene. Mind you, these were all shot on Apple ProRes 4444 XQ, and I'm using DaVinci Resolve Wide Gamut in the DaVinci YRGB Color Managed mode to give me the best results and the widest possible palette for adjusting the color. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to my Patreon. There are a lot of great perks there. Subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted to all the upcoming videos that are coming out. Also, check out the other videos on my channel. There's a lot of great tips and tricks there. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks a lot for watching.